Kelly Williamson and today we're going to be focusing on Thanksgiving recipes. So we've already done a mashed potatoes, we've done a sweet potatoes which has a little bit of brown sugar on they're wonderful. Low fat recipes, there's, there's no oil or anything else in them. We actually did a vegetable medley, so that was broccoli, corn, corn on the cob and uh, red peppers, so that's in the oven cooking. And then the next one we're going to do is the green bean casserole. I don't know if you remember, but a lot of times when you would go to parties, somebody always brought that green bean casserole. And it was full of all this cream and butter, and, and then it had all of the onion crumbs on the tops, all those type of things. And a lot of people loved them, but it wasn't real healthy for you. So this is a healthy version where you can get that same type of flavors and actually enjoy it, but not have all the bad things for you. So the first thing that we have that we're going to start out with is make the sauce. So if you get the golden, so Campbell's has a golden mushroom, which you can get it from you know, different vendors. It just really depends the stores that you have in your neighborhood. But the Campbell's one makes the golden. You don't want to get a cream of mushroom because if you get that one, it has milk in it. The golden mushroom does not. So it just looks like kind of a, a brown, kind of a chunky mess that has uh, mushrooms in it. So you just want to take that out of the can. Break it all out as much as you can. And then to make it creamy, to make it creamy, so it just kind of looks like a kind of an orange, almost like baby food or something. Not sure exactly. So to make it creamy, what we're going to do is we are going to put soy milk in it. You could use almond milk, but like I talked about earlier, I prefer the silk, um, the soy milk, because it doesn't add any flavors to it. So you have the flavors of the food, not where you have almond or oats or anything else in it. So I'm going to put about a half a cup. Stir it in. It's like getting your soup made ready. Kind of reminds me of being a kid when mom would sit there and make the tomato soup or some other soup and mix it all up together with the milk. So get it all mixed up together. And you have to play a little bit by ear, so it just really depends. Because sometimes I've gotten the Campbell's Golden Mushrooms um, soup and they're, they tend to be a little bit thinner, so you don't need as much milk to be able to make them more creamy. But then there's other times and stuff it's really almost a solid mass, and so you have to add a little bit more milk just to make it where it's creamy and can pour it over. So I'm actually going to add a little more. So that was about another half cup. Because what I want this to do is I want it to be creamy, but I also want to, since we've got a large dish that we're going to put all the green beans and things in, I want to make sure that it coats it really well. And there's one of the things that you can always do at the end, of, if, it, if it doesn't seem like it coats really well, feel free just to pour a little bit more soy milk in and then just kind of kind of roll the vegetables around in it when it's in the pan so, or in the baking dish. All right, so that's all ready to go. So as you can tell, it's just kind of a, a light, creamy mess. I don't want to hold it up too much because I don't want to dump it, but it just looks kind of a light golden color. So I'll put that off to the side. And then you're going to start out with, of course, green beans. So green beans, these came from the CSA garden, so it was a community service garden that we had this morning. So I picked these up, put them in, the, put them in some water, cut off the ends, so you can notice the ends. I leave them whole because I like to have the long pieces, but if you want to do smaller pieces, you can chop them up into little ones if you like. But these are in the water for about 20 minutes or so, and they're ready to go. So they're pretty much all cooked. So just dump those into your pan. Spread them out a little bit. And then the other ingredients are little cherry tomatoes. If you can't find the cherries, so it really depends. I use all the different flavors as long as they're the small ones. So you just go to the grocery store and sometimes you can get where they're two for three dollars, they're, you know, they're, they're inexpensive, so just find the ones that you like and you just leave them whole like that. How easy can that be? Just dump those in, spread them around. Just spread them around all over the place. It's already starting to look like Christmas. You got the green and the red going. The next thing that you want to add is your mushrooms. So these are regular button mushrooms, they're just scrubbed down and then what I did is I sliced them up and then I took the slices and sliced them in chunks. And that way that if, if you like the whole mushrooms and you want to have them like, you know, the, kind of the more the button ones, then leave them more whole. But I like them where they're chopped up. So you just take that, dump those in, spread them around a little bit. If you've got some bigger chunks, feel free just to kind of break them in half. That way they get a little bit more spread out. 
and you don't get that big chunk of mushroom unless you really want that big chunk of mushroom. But some people prefer little chunks and don't like the big chunks. So I just kind of go halfway in between and chunk them up into little pieces. All right. So there you go so far. Looks great. All right, so the last thing, the last ingredient that we have before we put the sauce on there is pearl onions. So pearl onions are little tiny onions, and if you try to peel them when they come out of the packet, they're really hard and it takes a long time, and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I'll never get through this. So what you want to do is you want to take the pearl onions, you put them in a pan of water, you put them on the stove, you boil it for about 10 minutes, and then you cut the little ends off, they're little tiny brown ends, and when you do that, you can pretty much, if you take something like this, you can see the little ends, you just pull that off like that, and, this, and the pieces come right off. There's not much skin on them, so you could chop these up if you like, so if you want to have little pieces, but these cook up, especially when you have the sauce on them, they cook up and they become really, really moist, and they're absolutely delicious. So I'm just going to dump those in. Very easy, spread them around a little bit. And look at that. How much more wonderful can it be? It's got all the Christmas colors, all the good food for you, great antioxidants, all kinds of wonderful things. So last thing, and you can see this takes about five minutes to do, you've got the sauce. So the sauce, you're just going to kind of dribble it around until you get the bowl where it's a little bit empty so it's a little bit easier to handle because otherwise if you had it in a pour dish, you could actually just dump it all out at once. Make sure you scrape the bowl, get all the goodness out of there. So then you just take your spoon, mess it up a little bit, but before I actually stir everything, I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning. So the only things you need is a little bit of salt, another one of my friends wanting to chime in, brown pepper, black pepper. I love black pepper, so some people may think that, my gosh, she does a lot of black pepper, but there's nothing better than black pepper on things. So then you just stir it up a little bit, make sure all the vegetables that you have in there are coated. And I'm noticing a little bit, so let me show you what that looks like, is that it needs to probably a little bit more moisture, because what you're going to do is you're going to put this in the oven. So you're going to put parchment paper on top, and then you're going to put the aluminum foil, because you don't really want the aluminum foil, especially if you do a lot of research on the internet. You don't want the aluminum foil and stuff to touch your food. So I do this. So it looks like, so you can tell, it's really well covered and there's a nice kind of a golden flavor to it. But it needs, since there's not a lot of moisture on the bottom, we're going to want to add a little bit more. So grab your soy milk. Just pour some of that in. That is probably, by the time I've said and done, about a cup. So total in this recipe, you probably have about two cups of soy milk. Mix it up just a little bit more so that golden mushroom sauce gets into the soy milk and it's just not soy milk. A little bit more black pepper. Like I said, I like the black pepper. It just adds such a nice fresh flavor to it, especially if it's ground just like this. All right, so that is ready to go. A little bit of a mess. Ready to go, looks all Christmassy, everything, all Thanksgiving, I mean, how, what a wonderful dish. So I'm gonna put this in the oven, and then if you join me in a few minutes more, I will show you what it looks like after it comes out of the oven. Welcome back, the green bean casserole is actually done now, so it's been cooking for about 350 degrees for about 30 to 45 minutes, you just have to watch it. So as you can see here, it looks like this kind of ooey gooey, just wonderful vegetables that are all together. So let me go ahead and dish that up for you. has all this wonderful type of a kind of a saucy broth on it. They're really, really good. It's a great recipe. Dip up some of the onions and all the, the tomatoes. So add a couple more of the little red and yellow ones, or the white ones on the top. There you go. What a wonderful dish. It's wonderful. If you need a little more salt or pepper, feel free to add it at the end. But this, I guarantee you, if you take this to parties or the Thanksgiving dinners and stuff, people would love it. So I promised you, as you heard the barking a couple times and a little growling, let me show you my friend. 
This is Georgie. <laughs> this is Georgie. This is my little girl. She's a little, she's, <laughs> she's very affectionate. See, Georgie, say hi. And she's a little Havanese. So she's a little crazy girl. She's about two years old. She still thinks she's a puppy and she's a little crazy. So I'll have to say bon appetit. We'll see you next time. And Georgie says goodbye. Have a great day. Thanks.